Marson's Domain. Hey everyone, Marson here. And today I want to talk about Super Mario Maker 2. And I want to preface this by saying the game is absolutely incredible. It's everything that I wanted and more. But this is a topic I've talked about a lot on this channel and during my streams. And I'm not going to let it go because it is getting old. And I kind of have my own take on this situation instead of just complaining about it on that their online is terrible because we all know this at this point we know that nintendo's online is not the best what i want them to do and i guess i should say the topic of this whole thing is about the laggy mess that keeps happening when you go to versus mode i'm sure it's happening in co-op mode but i just don't want to do co-op mode unless if i can do it with my friends which is coming later so right now i've just been doing versus mode the lag is horrible there was one match I did, I'm probably going to try to get some footage of some laggy matches, but there was one match I did during my stream where it honestly took around, I don't want to exaggerate, so we'll say around 20 seconds from when we could see the screen to when the countdown finished. That was how laggy it was. And I get it, their online's not the best, they've made a portable system that can go online so there's a lot of people that are using Wi-Fi with terrible connections. And not just Wi-Fi, I want to make it clear, like, there's other people using a hardwired connection and their internet may not be good. But the point being, they have a portable console that has four people connecting. And it needs to be in sync, unlike Mario Kart, which if Mario Kart needed to be in sync, then it would be horrible. Because then it would be the most laggy mess ever. But... This game needs to be in sync, so that means that everything needs to be happening at the same time on everyone's screen. You can't have someone jumping all around through lag. So similar to Smash Bros. So if you have four people connecting and someone's using Wi-Fi and their connection's not that good because they just don't really understand how much that affects things. Again, I want to preface, it is possible to have good Wi-Fi. I'd like to just preface that for I get a boatload of comments about, hey, I use Wi-Fi, my connection's great. But just as an example, someone using Wi-Fi rooms away from the router and they're causing a huge laggy mess. What Nintendo needs to do, because they've designed a portable console that does not have an Ethernet port and you have to buy a separate thing to have an Ethernet connection for online play, they need to allow you to quit a match if it's that laggy, period. It is ridiculous to me, and that's why I said I have a different take on this, because I've accepted their online's never going to be that great. I've accepted it. Because of the way the console's designed, we're probably never going to get the best online experience with Nintendo. They're already not that good with it. I mean, they don't have their own servers or anything, even with us paying for the online. And it's a portable console. It's just a recipe for disaster. But with that being said, if they want to keep it this way, they need to start implementing options for us as the player. I am sick and tired of needing to deal with these horrible matches when it's just not fun. Like, it's legitimately not fun. If I ended up finishing that level that I was mentioning earlier, it would have taken so long. I just don't want to do it. If it's noticing that the connection is that bad, let me quit. Without a penalty, by the way. Without a penalty. Why should I be losing rank when the room is laggy? I don't understand. And if for some reason the lag was from me, then kick me out. Kick me out. Why am I letting all these other people suffer? That's the thing too. I don't think anyone with bad connections wants people to have a horrible experience. I think they'd rather be notified and then have it try to match them up with other people that have similar connections. I don't understand why if I have a strong internet connection that I should be matched with someone who does not. And then on top of that, not even get the option to leave when it's not even my fault. And like I said, if it is my fault, kick me out. Don't have me make all these other players suffer because I think everyone would unanimously agree that it just sucks when it lags like that. No one really wants to deal with it. And what also sucks is no one even wants to quit because they don't want to lose their rank. And the only way to quit is to hit the home menu and close the software. Nintendo needs to change this. They need to work on improving their online, which there is a chance that they could improve it. They did a huge overhaul with Mario Tennis Aces because I remember doing the test fire and the lag was atrocious. The game came out and they improved it a ton because now you see the connection before a match and in general, I just found that I lagged less in matches in general. So I don't know what they did, but they improved it immensely. And I'm thinking that with this game, since there was no test fire thing, 
maybe it's just going to take some time for them to add a patch where it is just a more enjoyable experience. So there's definitely things that could happen that could make this whole online thing better. But at the very least, I hope they start realizing that they need to implement options to leave games that are laggy. Because it's just not fun. It's not fun to be in a game that's that laggy. If there's a few spurts of lag, okay. Like, whatever. You know, this isn't MLG Evo type of competition. If it lags a little bit, whatever. But when it's consistent choppy lag and it's taking a ton of time for the countdown to even finish, no. You need to let us quit those matches. So that's all I have to say about this. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all this. Are you annoyed with how the online is? Have you been getting good, stable matches for the most part? Or have you been like me and getting a decent mixture of just some enjoyable matches and then some matches that you really just want to quit? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this one, it's for more content. Feel free to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Take care, everyone.